Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy New Year. Um, I just came back from the gym. I'm proud of myself. It's been a very long time since I've done that. Um, oh, you know what? And for those of you, maybe this is your first time seeing me. My name is Camille Prosperity out of Savannah, Georgia. Anywho, I just came back from the gym. I feel really good. Proud of myself for getting that done. It's been a long, long time. But I, um, I did a lot while I was over there. And one of the things I did was just check on my social media, answer a few questions, make good use of the time, right? Not listen to music, but just make good use of the time. And um, one of the things that came up was a question on my YouTube from one of the YouTube family members. Also, I didn't say what I usually say. If you're new to the channel, like, definitely subscribe because I think you're going to enjoy it here because you evidently ended up here. <laughs> and if you're a replay or a live viewer, let me know where you're watching from. That is always fun for me, believe it or not, just to see how how much reach um, I'm obtaining and how many people are tuning into good information. All right. So I got this, this question from YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and share it with you. Um, two, 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 two. Well, you, you'll play read along with me. And this is a question that I get a lot. So I figured instead of just, although I did answer them, instead of just answering them there and um, what do you call it? And letting that be that, I figured why not do a video and explain the reason for how I answered and why I answered that way. So um, this was on a post that I did recently. And do, 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 do. yeah, here we go. Let's, can I enlarge it? So that y'all can see. Let's see. Okay. Hopefully that works for you all. So someone in the YouTube family said, greetings. I cannot get Cube Smart to send me my bill in the mail. Bananas. All right. First thing, let me say this. Many of you probably do not think this is a big deal. Like just get it electronically. Save a tree. You guys, I really want you to understand this. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? At this point, if you are watching on Facebook, I want you to come over to YouTube. My channel is Better Body Crew um, because we're, we're going to do so things a little bit differently this year. So, uh, yeah, if you're on Facebook, come join us over on YouTube for the rest of the stream. I see about 12 people are in here. Guys, the least you could do is hit that thumbs up for me and not let me feel alone. Tell me where you're watching from and say, hey, come on now, remember your manners. <laughs> All right, so hold on one second. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess we'll just keep going on. I don't think it's as easy as I thought to remove Facebook. But anyway, I'll do it next time. So why is it still paused? Oh, you know what? Look at that. I was sharing the wrong thing. Um, see, this is why it always helps to have another screen up, guys. I know y'all are like, what is she talking about? All right, this is what I just read. So <laughs> someone in the YouTube family said, I cannot get Cube Smart to send my bill in the mail. Bananas. Now, why is that important? Why should you want your bill in the mail? A lot of y'all think that when these companies say things like, hey, save a tree, go electronic. You think they really want to save a tree. But I really want to ask you, when is the last time the big corporations really cared about, like really cared about anything besides profit? Seriously. Seriously. They're not trying to save no trees. You know why they want you to not receive a bill in the mail? Well, it's, I'll tell you. And I learned this in a mentorship and I said, that makes complete sense. Because when have they ever done anything good for any entity outside of themselves, whether it be for you or for the, the, the earth, it doesn't matter, right? So the reason why they don't want you to receive a bill in the mail is because oftentimes they have regulatory agencies that have laws that say the bill has to come a certain amount of time before the due date. And believe it or not, there are some companies who in previous lawsuits, it's been found that they don't do that. They have not sent the bill in the right amount of time. And people have sued and won. So 
they basically to decrease the probability of that happening to basically make sure that they don't get caught up in all of these laws that they have to um abide by which most of us don't even know and even if we know we don't enforce but for the few who do they want to decrease the probability that that happens what they do is they say hey want to get your bill electronically it'll be more convenient for you it'll be uh you could save a tree and we fall for it like oh look at them saving a tree woo 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 they don't care about no tree they don't care nothing about no tree all right so you do want to get your bill in the mail it should not be complicated oftentimes it's not like and also let me speak to the convenience factor of this. Just because they send you a bill in the mail doesn't mean the bill is still not available electronically. So stop that. You, you can still log into any portal. It's 2023. You can log into any portal and see an electronic PDF version of your bill usually. But you still want to get that paper bill in the mail. Okay? So that's first and foremost. This is how I responded to him. I said, I don't know that company specifically, but contact their exec executives. We're talking about like CFO, CEO, those people, whatever agency that regulates their industry, your state AG. In case you guys do not know, AG stands for attorney general. I'm not going to get into what the attorney general does because I don't want this video to be super duper long. And also, I want you guys to do some legwork on your own. Look up your state AG. Find out what their role is. Click every button on that website. Get very, very familiar with who this person is and what they can do for you because they are here to serve you. And if you don't know what their role is by now, it's about time that you found out. But you got to put some legwork into this yourself. You don't always want to be in a position where somebody is telling you stuff because what if they tell you wrong? Get in the habit of doing stuff on your own, right? Then I told him, most importantly, keep all records, every text, every chat, every email, every phone call. And then I asked him, are you in a two-party state? Okay. Now, a lot of people are like, what does that mean? A two-party state. Basically, there are laws for recording audio guys. So you have one-party states and you have two-party states. This is something that is that you can go on the handy-dandy Googler. The handy-dandy Googler. And you can look up, am I in a one or two party state? Is Georgia a one or two party state? Is And in this case, luckily he knew Ohio is a one party state. What does that mean, Kim? You look it up. I'm going to give y'all a little bit, but I want y'all to do a lot of it because this is your life. So luckily, if he didn't know, he looked it up before, before he... Um, because I will tell y'all something. Something that will stop a conversation with me is laziness. So if I had put this, are you in uh, are you in a two party state? And he came back to me and said, "I'm in Ohio. Ohio. Is that a one or two party state?" Mm -mm. No go. Conversation just ended because I will help as best I can, but I will never act as um, in the capacity of like a free personal assistant. No one should. No one should. So um, I'm so happy that he knew what his state is. Then he said, thank you. I'm going to remain diligent with my knowledge of these UCC codes. I've been able to form a team of four to study. This is very smart. Of course, now this is not to him. This is just to you guys in general. Watch who you are studying with. I was um, conversing last night with a guy named Jay, who I call my little brother. I met him through doing videos like this. Jay is in his early 20s. He's already won lawsuits against the big three CRAs. In case you don't know, that stands for credit reporting agencies. We're talking Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. However, there are other CRAs. We just never taught about them. But Jay has done phenomenal things. And he told me some things that he's working on now. And I'm like, dang, like I could be Jay's mama. And I'm in a good way, jealous of him, like his capacity, his competency. And he said he has a good lawyer um, that has really helped him. And, and, and in case you do not know, because maybe you didn't see the interview, it, we got to do that interview over. Jay, if you're watching, we, we still got to do that interview over. I had so many interruptions from my phone buzzing because <laughs> it was an unplanned interview. But Jay, he um, studied consumer laws. 
Now, this is a young man in his early 20s. He studied consumer laws on his own. He he found what he thought was a violation. He sent in his own paperwork to them, demanding that they comply to the law and give him his remedy. And he was shot down. It wasn't until he sought out a consumer protection lawyer in his state. See, he didn't let one know make him go away. He sought out a consumer protection lawyer in his state. The lawyer took the case and, huh, baby, Jay is banking. And guess what he did when he won the money from that lawsuit? He invested in himself and, and more education. Like, that's the type of people I want you guys to, but guess what? You only get an association with those type of people, the serious people, the people who are making moves and, and, you know, as a result, making money, you only get an association with them if you are like them. Very rarely will you see a table with a whole bunch of lazy people and a whole bunch of rich people. It just doesn't happen. Very rarely will you see a table with someone who is accustomed to seeking out answers mixed in with a whole bunch of people who only want to ask questions. So it's because of the work that I've done and the, the content that I put up that attracted Jay to me. And when we reached out, like every time we talk, I learn something, I feel inspired, I feel good. And it's a reciprocal relationship. So don't just form a mastermind or mentorship or, you know, whatever. And don't just ask anybody to be your accountability partner. Make sure that you are equally yoked. And make sure it's going to be a reciprocal relationship. Does that make sense? Let me check these comments because I'm all lost on my page. Okay, y'all started talking to me. Appreciate you, Carlton Powell from Louisiana. Oh, I love Louisiana. I want me a beignet. Um, Latrina, hey, you watching from Chicago? Oh, I haven't been to Chicago since I saw it. Oh, gosh. What happened to me just now? <laughs> Well, when you get old, you just don't have control of nothing. <laughs> I haven't been to Chicago since 2015. And every time I see the word Chicago, I think about my um, college freshman roommate. And she always would introduce herself like this. My name is Scott. I'm from Chicago. And we'd be like, oh. like uh, six months later, we all did it. Like when people would come on, they'd be like, what's your name? I'd be like, I'm I'm Kim. I'm Shayla. I'm, I'm um. Stephanie, I'm Scott from Chicago. It was like Sandra from 227. Anyway, y'all didn't ask for that, but I gave it to you anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lou, dude. That's an interesting name. I appreciate your sweet personality. Philly in the house. Yes. Okay, I'm hungry. Philly cheesesteak. Never been to Philly. I have to go. I have to go. Everything, every time I see Philly, I think Philly cheesesteak and Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Hello from Cleveland. Okay, so no, this is not you. Spiritual elevation. So you see, we're talking about one of your brethren, one of your neighbors. Because <laughs> the YouTube commenter that I'm talking about, um, he's from Ohio as well. Let me ask you this spiritual elevation. Did you know that Ohio is a one party state? And do you know what that means? Um, just curious. And then the last comment, what's going on, David Lopez? Hey, girl, one love. Always, always, brother. So back to this, he, he has a study group, and that's good because, guys, man, I remember studying on my own because I was broke. All I could do is all I could do. It took so much time. Time. It took so much time, tanto tiempo, jeez Louise. So I was like, man, I don't have like, I don't have this type of time. I got a young one. He's coming. He needs help with stuff. He, he needs to be fed. He like, I'm a parent. Like I'm a real parent. <laughs> I got things I have to do. I don't have time like this. So I had to get my money up enough to get into some mentorships, to get into some smaller circles. I had to buy my seat at certain tables so that I could bounce ideas off of other people and have some people break down stuff for me. Because truth be told, when you go to read these laws, a lot of times, especially if you're a person like me who easily gets distracted, if these are words that you are that are foreign to you, you just kind of zone out, right? Your eyes kind of gloss over. So it really, really helps to have other people, again, watch who the people are though. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. 
I've paid good money and gotten in bad groups. And I know some of y'all like, see, that's what I'm worried about. I don't want to waste my money. Well, let me tell you something. Like, you can't go through life like that. I'm just going to be honest with you. And it's only one, one group that I regret being a part of. But actually, I don't. Because that one bad group led me to meet some people who formed a really good group. So I take that back. I don't regret it at all. Because every single thing happens for a reason. You know, it's kind of like when you get in a relationship with a guy or a woman and they dog you out. They're horrible to you. And you're like, oh, my God, they broke my heart. But then when you find your next person, you now really appreciate that person. Right? That treats you well, like you deserve to be treated, like you're treating them. Right? Because you you have that comparison. Like you, you're like, okay, I had to go through that bad relationship so that when I got into this good relationship, I did not, I don't take for granted this good person. Do you know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Cause y'all got good sense. I don't attract dumb people. Anywho. Um, so I love this too. They said, we are going to teach some junior high school students to question everything and to educate themselves. So this person, Teddy Whitfield, he, he put some other comments before. And that's really why I responded to him. Um, cause I don't just be giving out free advice. Right. But, um, when somebody, when I can tell somebody is about something other than just themselves, I'm definitely more prone, more apt to, uh, want to be in association with them and help them out. That's just the way it works. I like helping people that like helping other people. Um, so I'm not, to, I'm not surprised at all to read this statement. So anyway, he responds to my earlier comment because I did not know what cube smart was. So cube smart apparently is a larger storage unit. Now, interestingly enough, storage units, um, wait, I, I sent him something else though. Yeah. I told him to find out what agencies regulate that industry. So here is what you want to do, guys. I don't care if it's a storage unit. I don't care if it's a credit card. I don't care if it's a utility bill. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever it is, whatever industry or sector that company falls under, you need to find out who regulates them. Right? Not only the federal laws, but the statutory laws. So things like storage units, and in case you did not know, statutory laws refer to your state laws. That means like, like in case y'all don't know, California has, we'll say, we'll use the adjective interesting. They have some really interesting state laws. <laughs> but if you live in California, your answer for a certain situation is going to be totally different than someone who lives in Georgia like myself, because we have different, what? Statutory laws, state laws. Georgia is not California. California, damn sure ain't Georgia. So that's why a lot of times when y'all like, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? The person probably can't. And I know some of y'all like, well, federal law trumps all laws. It does, but what you need to do, you need to understand this to a certain extent. And, and, and again, when you buy your seat at these tables where people are having serious conversations, because the free information on the internet will have you going crazy. Real talk. Because one person says this, another person says that, and it's all free. So there's no priority. I want you to think about that. If you are just consuming free information, you're clicking video to video and over here and over there and everywhere. Right? You trying to become a, a sovereign citizen, a sovereign king, a, a, you don't know what you're doing. But I'll tell you this, when you pay for something, guess what you do if you got good sense? And all my people do have good sense that listen to me because I don't attract dumb people to my channel. They don't stay for long. So if you're paying for something, then when you go to tap into the information, you pay attention to what you paid for first right? And that blocks out all the news of the free, all the free noise. So that like, it's, I can't stress to you enough how much paying for stuff has changed my life. And again, there is no bad investment because it, I'm pretty sure everything in your life happens for a reason. So even the quote unquote bad investments will still lead you down a good path.
one way or another, you're going to meet somebody in that group or whatever the case may be. So, 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 so you always want to know what agency uh, regulates an industry. Like I said, uh, oh, and another thing about state laws, don't be so caught up in, well, the federal law, the federal, 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 federal law, because sometimes the state laws will actually work more so in your favor than the federal law. I found that that little nugget out in a mentorship and we explored that and it made, I was like, oh my gosh, I had no clue, right? Because you don't know until you know, but once you know, oh, you know, you know. <laughs> hey, Teddy, you see, I'm talking about your bro. <laughs> he said, we got to learn. Um, you inspired me, Teddy, but I, I'm looking too crazy to be on camera. But I still say, I said, before my pillow hits the head tonight. No, before my head hits the pillow, I said that. <laughs> I said that wrong. Before my head hits the pillow tonight, I'm I'm, I'm going I'm going to do something for somebody outside of myself. So thank you, Teddy. I like your name. I think about Teddy Pendergrass. Is he the one that's saying turn off the lights? Okay. Anywho, y'all know I have a short attention span. You found that out a little while ago. Okay, spiritual elevation. See elevation. See, I knew you were on it. I could tell by your name. Mm hmm. I could tell by your name. I believe you got something to do with the telephone communication. Um, yes, the one and two party thing. Absolutely. So, you know, you you can't just be recording unless your state is like, what's the use of recording something if you can't use it? So you want to find out if you're in a state that allows you to use a recording without the other party's consent. Or if you have to disclose, disclose to the other party that um you are recording. I'm in a state where I don't have to tell nobody I'm recording them. And baby, I wear my Google Drive out with audio recordings. I wear it out. And let me tell y'all something. It's so good I did. I called Equifax, um, what, just the other day. Yes, I sure did. I paid old Equifaxy Faxy a, a, a phone call. And baby, I guess they were having a end of the year party because it sounded like a frat house up in that piece. And I'm so, no, my, you, even my son, even my son, okay, who don't pay attention to nothing, turned around and was like, what's going on over there? Like, I literally was telling the guy, I can't hear you. He was like, oh, yes, uh, there, there's a lot going on here. I was like, yeah, y'all having a good time. So guess what? No, not chicken, but, but when I let them know I have that recording, right, and when they hear it, if we get that far, they're going to know it we don't sound like a professional. We don't sound like we're taking her issues. Like it just doesn't, there's nothing like hearing it from the horse's mouth. Okay. But a lot of y'all have uh, recordings and y'all don't even know where they are. So immediately when I record something, I always label it. I always immediately, immediately upload it to my Google drive. And then I have a little document where I make notes. This recording had these key points in it. it takes me less than 60 seconds, but a lot of you guys are doing some work, but you're not organizing your content so that you're able to go back to it to basically use it as evidence to back your claims, right? So all of this stuff builds upon itself because I don't care what nobody told you on the phone and neither does a judge and neither does the arbitrator if you can't prove it. They said, and then some of y'all, I have actually, and my heart hurts for y'all because I'm like, oh, baby, don't know. Y'all have turned me into my grandmother. Poor baby, don't know. Oh, baby, don't know. Some of y'all have actually had the audacity to say, well, why I got to record if they recording it? <laughs> Come again, friend. Are you seriously sitting up here telling me that you think the Equifax going to go through their archives to get a recording for you? That's in your favor. Poor baby, don't know. Oh, baby, don't know. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> um, Petro said here for the support. Do y'all see how that doesn't make sense? Do you see how that doesn't make sense? Appreciate, appreciate you, Petro. Um, unity is power. Melanated people wake up. Yes, everybody wake up. Everybody wake up, especially melanated people. Because y'all, let me tell y'all something. And I, this is going to be controversial, but oh, well, hell, what's new? There are some things that are a part of our culture that I love, but one thing that I hate is that we, a lot of times we think it is cool 
to be uneducated. We think it is cool to talk crazy. And it's not just us, but because I'm more so in my community, I got to talk about us. I'm more so hanging around people in my community. So I got, I'm very exposed to my community, my culture. So I got to talk about that. All this slang, all this text talk, I make my son enunciate. My mom made me, uh, my mom is a singer in case y'all don't know. And I remember we used to have to do vocal exercises. We used to have to do all types of things because my mom was hell bent on making sure that we are always spoke clearly. Now, when I got older, you know, I was putting my words all together. And sometimes y'all know I talk a little bit faster than, than the normal person. I got my little slang and dang thing going on. But let me tell you something. When it counts, when it counts, I make very sure that you can hear me clearly and you know exactly. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Articulation and enunciation is so important. And we're going to, you know, I'm happy you brought that up, Pedro, uh, because, well, well, you inspired me to get to this point. Um, Teddy said, you have indeed inspired me. I'm Teddy Pan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Teddy Pendergrass fan. Turn off the lights. You know, it was it was one season when the the uh the light bills were really really high in in these last past years, and somebody did like a a gif, a gif or a meme or something of it, and they were like everybody opening their light bill right now, acting like Teddy Pendergrass, and it had you know the whole you know um, build up of the song, and then that climax said turn off the light. And that thing was so funny. I was like, that's a good one. That's a good one. Because <laughs> them bills was hot. They was hot. Like, I can't. Ha, 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 ha. All right. What, what spiritual elevation? Yes. My mom told me never say yes over the phone. They can use the recorder. That's right. That is right. And you know what? My mom told me always get a person's name who's helping you. Do y'all know how many times? Do y'all know how many times someone is telling me a story about their interaction with someone and they have no clue who they spoke to? Now that steams me up. It really, really does. Cause I'm like, come on. Or, or worse yet, they'll have this enraged heightened argument with a person and then be like, you know what? I, I Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll take it to the next level. What's your name? Now what you think they're going to say now? Ma'am, my name is Jane Doe. Uh-huh. All right, then, Jane Doe. I got your... Mm -hmm. You don't ever ask for a person's name at the end when y'all are no longer friends. You always get their name up front. Thank you for calling Sprint. My name is Kim. How may I help you? I'm sorry. What did you say your name was again, ma'am? My name is Kim. How may I help you? Did you say Kim? K-I-M? Kim? Yes, Kim. Okay, Kim. Thank you so much. My name is Sarah. That's how you do that. You get it up front before ish pop off. Okay? You get them when they disarmed, right? Before ish pop off. And it's so funny because to this day, I am so, and I used to hate it when my mom would do that, right? We just going to the Piggly Wiggly to get, get some gum, mom. Why you just buy the gum and let's go? And then she'll be like, they'll be like, all right, have a good day. She'll be like, thank you so much, Lola. I used to be like, this is so embarrassing. But guess what? I am always programmed to look at a person's name tag and know who I spoke to. And do y'all know how many times in my over four decades of living that has come in handy? Like, I'll be like, hey, I was in here the other day and David checked me out, but he gave me the wrong amount of change. And guess what? David will come from the back and be like, I was waiting for you to come back. I'd be like, but how would it work if I'd be like, there was a black guy who, um, like he was black because that's how y'all be describing people <laughs> about yay tall. That don't help nobody. They'd be like, ma'am, that's everybody who works here. So I strongly advise you guys, um, get people's name, find out if you're in a one or two party state, find out if you are, if you have to, you can record, but find out if you have to disclose it to the other party or not. Um, if you have to disclose it to the other party, again, I learned in a mentorship, there are ways to do that. But going back to what um, I think it was spiritual. Hey, Muriel Williams. Yes. Did I tell y'all Happy New Year? I think I did before anybody was on. Anyway, Happy New Year, y'all. We made it. We made it. R.I.P. the gangsta boo. I'm sorry. She just made it in, but goodness gracious. Where them dollars at? 
anyway, um, y'all know by now my broadcast be all over the place. But another thing about articulation and communication, because I've heard a lot of things. I've heard some people tell people, once they violated you, you can ask for anything as your remedy. You can ask for a million dollars if you want to. Yeah, you can. You can also jump in an awful bridge if you want to, thinking that you can fly. But there are consequences to that. So let me just tell you right now, if you want to show up in a court asking for a million dollars over your $100 cell phone bill, be prepared to argue your point for why you deserve that million dollars. Because you will have to argue your point. And I want you to think about this. Think about this here right there. Think about this here. You got two ways to get justice when you've been wronged. Arbitration or litigation. Arbitration, they do not see the results of. Litigation, they do. They do. You can look up any court case. How many of y'all got a PACER account? How many of y'all ever been on PACER? How many of y'all know what PACER is? <laughs> How many of y'all ever looked up some, some contract law, some case law? Hmm? Do y'all know, and I found this out again because of one of the mentorships that I'm in, um, one of our brothers posted that Harvard had a contract, a free, free, F-R-E-E, -E, gratis, completamente gratis, a free class on contract. Well, I signed up for it on the, like the last day that you could sign up for it. Do y'all know that Harvard and Yale have free classes on junk? Show do, show do, like real, real classes, free, gratis, completamente gratis. Anyway. You can look up cases if they went through litigation, but not arbitration, baby. That's the other thing you want to do, Teddy Pendergrass. Teddy Pendergrass, what was your name? Whitfield. <laughs> you want to go to uh, CubeSmart, your contract. Please tell me you have your contract. We got to keep these contracts, y'all. You want to go to your contract, contract and see if there's an arbitration law clause in there, right? If there's an arbitration clause, you need to go through arbitration to get your justice. That means you need to get familiar with AAA and gems. What are you talking about, Kim? There's a handy dandy new thing called the Googler. Yes, there is. Poor baby don't know. Right? There's a handy dandy new thing. Did y'all do y'all hear my stomach growling? Oh, I hope the mic didn't pick that up. I already said I was hungry though. Auntie who? There's a handy dandy new thing called the Googler. You better go on there and look up AAA and GEMS and become familiar with their process because that's what you will have to use if the company that has done you an injustice has an arbitration clause. That means the results of the outcome will not be publicly available. But if you go to litigation, meaning court, then the results are available. And again, regardless, regardless of whether you go to arbitration or litigation, you better have a good mouthpiece. Because whatever you're asking for, you have to justify. And it has to make sense. Mm -hmm. So again, you can ask for whatever. But you'll be in that court. You'll be in that arbitration room. You'll be on that Zoom looking like Bobo the Fool. Real talk. Now, if you go to litigation, us knowing that the results of the court case will be made public, how do you think it would look? I mean, just from a common sense standpoint, right? And again, I'm not fussing at nobody. We just having a conversation, right, fam? But y'all know that because y'all smart because I don't attract dumb people. They don't stay for long on my channel. But if you go to court and you know that the results are going to be made public, you have to also know that you can't have some little minor bill and you be asking for $5 million. Because again, think about it. Once that case is published, that becomes a precedence, right? Just ask for what you want. We're just giving out money over here. It doesn't work like that. Speaking of court, if you choose to go to court, you again, you might want to choose your circuit court first, right? So what circuit are you in? That depends on what state you are in. That's something you will want to look up, right? I did not know until, what, six months ago that I was, I'm in the 11th Circuit. And that covers, what, U.S., Florida, Alabama. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see something right quick. How many of y'all know what circuit you're in? Circuit court. Let me see.
if I can go to the handy dandy Googler and show y'all right quick. But all of this stuff is readily available. Why don't I um, um, share this tab? Why don't I look it up with y'all? Oh, which states are one or two parter? Para grabar. Cuáles estados? Right. So let me share this tab instead. All right. So, uh, so, uh, so you can come. See, all I did is say, like, what did I type in the Googler? Look, it's really just everything that you need to know is a few clicks away. One party states all these consent. And it, and it tells you what's this mean? What does a two party consent stand? Okay, that means both parties have to give consent, right? The clue, the clue is in the name. Georgia is a one party consent state. See, light blue, Georgia, right? Um, and there's Ohio, where Teddy Pendergrass Whitfield is, right? So um, that's that. Right. Let's go over to the, the share this tab instead. Right, right. All right, let's see here. I don't like that picture too much. Oh, this one looks pretty. All right, let me see something. Can I make this bigger? Y'all in my stomach. If y'all do that, it'll be so embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> you see what y'all talking about over here? Hey, what's going on? Terrific tamps, time stamps of technologies. That's interesting. Teddy Pendergrass with... Up runneth over with responsibilities. <laughs> David, do you, uh, you know, you know, I'm just, I'm joking with you, but Teddy, Teddy Pendergrass with him. Um, but yeah, I can't do no Zoom. I, I can't do no Zoom. Um, not, nah, maybe later, but <laughs> get somebody else to do it. <laughs> Y'all know that lady on social media? Get some crackers or something. I know, right, David? Oh, I'm going to handle this. As soon as we get done, which we're almost done, because we've been on here, I thought this was going to be 15 minutes. I always think I'm only talking to y'all for 15 minutes. And then y'all ropes me in. Y'all ropes me in. <sighs> y'all are horrible. But anyway, let me share this tab. So see, this is what I'm talking about. Again, if I were in if I were in arbitration or litigation, I wouldn't be talking to them like I'm talking to you guys now. And I know some of y'all are like, well, it shouldn't matter. Mm, sh shoulda, coulda, woulda. I don't care nothing about what should be. There's a lot of things that should be a certain way. But the bottom line is, and I'm just going to tell you guys this in case your mama or your daddy never told you. Life is not the way it should be. Okay. And there are just certain things, certain ways of conduct conducting yourself. Just like I found out, right? That, oh, let me complete a thought. <laughs> but life is not the way it should be all the time. And there are just certain things that you can do. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, y'all. Just hold on. Hold on. This is my son now. Hold on. Everything stopped for my son now. Hold on. Hey, son. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How are you doing? Oh, that's so good. Hey, listen, are you going to be up for a while? Okay, I'm going to text um I'm going to text back cuz I'm literally on um in the middle of a meeting. Um so I will text so that you can call me back in just like a few minutes cuz we're wrapping up, okay? I'm so sorry. I love you. Oh, shout out to all the families, uh, all the parents who don't always get to enjoy every holiday with their children. OK, but anyway, back to business. No time for emotions. Um, What was I talking about? Oh, that's what I was talking about. 
if I were in arbitration or litigation, I wouldn't be saying things like talking about, right? Because I want I want you to know I mean business. So I got I got my voice with y'all, and then I got my voice with them. Okay. Just like I found out in a mentorship. Now I pay good money for this tip I'm about to give you. I pay good money for this tip I'm about to give you. But this is the importance of getting yourself at certain tables. Okay. But I found out that um hold on one second. I just clicked back to see the comments. You are so dope. Can you come to Cleveland? <laughs> now, if I'm gonna do a zoom, you know I won't catch a flight. I barely leave my house. Like literally. Like literally. I don't I don't be liking people like that. I don't even I order groceries online now, everything. The 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 less I can, don't get me started. <laughs> Something is beautiful. All right, Teddy Pendergrass Whitfield. You know, that's your new name. All right. So you guys, um, okay, I was going to share a tip with y'all. So yeah, this is a free tip. I ain't worried about it. I paid a lot of money for it. I'm giving it to you completamente gratis, free. Why? Because the majority of people are not going to watch this video because it's not ratchet. It's not entertaining. And if they do, they're only going to log on for, on average, hmm, four minutes before they click off. And then most people, so y'all know I actually have people that will like message me directly and say, you have too many videos. I don't have a lot of time. Can you call me so you can just tell me what I need to know? <laughs> So congratulations to you guys for still being here because you're going to get this tip. So the tip is this. If you're dealing with a company that has an arbitration clause and you're going to go on over there to AAA or to JAMS, whatever, whatever, whatever you like, right? And you're going to do the arbitration thing. It is actually better to do it by paper instead of in person because when you're sending it, and I, don't even, I didn't even know that they had that option, but yeah, they do. There's two ways that you can arbitrate, right? So you can do the Zoom thing or you can do the paper thing, which is basically where you push paper back and forth. And you 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 send your paper saying what you say. They send their paper saying what they say and tit for tat, tit for tat, back and forth that way. See, why is it better to do a paper, paper arbitration than a real, real time one? Because it gives you time to think. Think about it. You know how when you get a text message and a person like you coming over and you like, mm, mm. And then you text back, who all going to be over there? <laughs> and then they tell you, and then you, and then depending on who they say, you like, okay, let me think about this. Cause they know I don't get along with so-and-so. I'm going, I'm going to let me, I got to really pray on this one. And you don't have to respond immediately. Why? Cause you're not on the phone with them. If you're on the phone with them and you like, who all going to be over there? And they like, Sasha, and you now you may involuntarily be like, mm, 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 mm. right? That's the problem with real time. Sometimes we have what you call it reflexes, right? Involuntary moans, groans, indicators of things that we thought we were keeping inside, but we just can't hide. But see, when you're doing things by paper, text, email, it's a lot easier to give yourself some time to think. You know, you haven't looked at something you typed and you know, mm, that looking crazy. That sounds crazy when you read it back to yourself. So then you do what? Delete, 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 delete. Some of y'all pigeon delete, delete, delete. You know, y'all can hold it down right? or you can click the whole thing. But some of y'all just delete, 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 you know. But hey, you're getting it done. But you can delete the airwaves. <laughs> Somebody tell you something in real time, you respond, who are you talking to? You can't, you can't delete your attitude, your tone. Once it's there, once it's out there, it's out there. So anyway, yeah, if you have an option, do, do a paper arbitration. Anywho, um, we're all over the place, but it's okay because this was not a planned Zoom, right? And I'm a Gemini, so I'm all over the place, naturally. Into who? I told y'all that I was in... Hold on. Am I sharing? Oh, okay. All right. I just had to make sure I was still sharing. It looked like I didn't on my other screen. But yeah, I'm in 11th Circuit. 
with consumer protection lawyer John Watts. Shout out to John Watts. His channel is amazing. In case y'all do not know, he goes through a lot of cases because this man has been doing this for over two decades. Two decades, right? Alexa, stop. Two decades. And um he um hey, 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 stop, stop, girl. Hey, hey, stop, Alexa, stop. Telling all my business. Um yeah, so this is where I am. Where you at? So see, spiritual elevation and Teddy Pendergrass Whitfield, they in um they in the sixth, sixth circuit, right? So then would y'all y'all will look up because y'all do know ju judges are people, right? So people are people, they be people in, and different people are different. So different judges and different circuits and different areas rule on things differently. Everybody has their own interpretation of the law. You think the law is the law and they're going to see it the way you see it. No, baby. No, baby. It's just like your parents, right? When you were growing up, you had parents and you think that you're, hey, can I do such and such? Your parents says, no. You say, well, my best friend mama let her do it. Am I your best friend mama? That's how judges are, right? They don't care nothing about what a New York judge said if you in the dirty, dirty south. So it's important if you want to go down this consumer protection path that you get familiar because, again, there may be times when you might go the statutory right because it'll be more beneficial to you than the federal, right? So you want to get very familiar with your statutory laws, the circuit that you fall under, and how them judges in there be acting, okay? Because all them judges don't be acting right. So, um... Let me stop sharing. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. I'm going to go look at these comments and I'm going to call my son back. Um, What y'all talking about? We can 1099 the flight. <laughs> Thank you for all the tips. Beautiful taking notes. I appreciate you. Now, I ain't going to lie. Them 1099 be having me feel a little, little uh, um, federal penitentiary-ish. <laughs> I'm scared of them 1099s. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, you good with Teddy? Pen <laughs> I know, right? Now that I said it, I can't stop saying it, right? Uh, oh, you a Taurus? Okay, all right. I only know the specifics to Gemini. I'm not gonna, lie. I'm not so much into like the signs and stuff. I just know I'm a Gemini because I'm crazy. <laughs> Yes, John Watts is the man, right? And he has like a, let me show y'all this right quick since you brought it up. You don't know about John Watts. John Watts is a hombre. Uh, is it this one? Okay, yeah, let's go up here. This man, I have spent so, I have fallen asleep. I have fallen asleep. Listen to John Watts. You remember who was in the text message masterclass? No, who was on my text community? Um... You ever um, been on a Zoom or something and typed something in your search bar and crazy stuff came up? And you'd be like, oh, let me get that off. But who is on the text message? Um, this is John Watts, Alabama consumer. Again, he's in Alabama and I'm in Georgia, but we're in the same circuit, right? Because the 11th circuit is Florida, Georgia, Alabama. Big Bama, right? But yes, John Watts be going in. See, so a lot of times when you read the law, you might not understand the law because that's not what we do every day. But this is what he does every day, right? So when he breaks up stuff, and sometimes the way a judge rules is not the way you would think they they would rule, right? Because I remember I was I was listening to somebody go over something and they said, see, the law says they can't do inquiries without permissible purpose. But sometimes the creditors try to say that means hard inquiries. Well, where in the law does it say this doesn't apply to soft inquiries? I just read inquiries. And then they actually brought up case law where it was ruled in the favor of the consumer because it was a soft inquiry without permissible purpose. And I was like, mm -mm, see now? I wouldn't have known that. Because, yes, I would have thought hard inquiries, but that's not what the law says. See, this is the importance of looking at precedence. You don't understand the law? Find somebody who do. Tap into them. And I literally have, like, watched these. Oh, yes. 
oh, the Q&As. So, oh, I started and then I stopped. Y'all remember who, who, who was in my um, text list earlier in the year, last year? Uh, remember when we all invaded his Q&A? <laughs> I got on his Q&A on Thursday at five and then I sent y'all a text and all of us flooding in there. And we were talking to each other and, and he was like, I don't know who Better Body Crew is, but thank you for inviting the party. He was so thrown. I was like, we in there? We in here, John Watts? <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Them numbers rose on that Q&A, on that live Q&A. And y'all brought the good questions, too. I was like, yeah, y'all be asking me this stuff. Ask him. Ask him. This is what he do. I'm just a regular, regular country girl in Pula, George. Um, But, yeah, this is a really, really good channel. He has... John Watts been doing videos so long. He's been doing videos since when his hair was black. His channel really should have way more subscribers. Y'all go on over there, subscribe, bother him, bug him. Mm hmm But yes, when was this? Oh, three weeks ago. But still, you could come on this channel, baby. Okay? He got long videos. He got short videos. He got tall videos. He got, man, he got FCRA credit stuff. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Estoy diciendo te, estoy diciendo te. I'm happy because I'm a nerd. But this this stuff be so juicy, man. This stuff be so juicy, man. All right, so that's John Watts. Let me stop sharing. Come on back over here. Real spill. Oh, man. Rest well, creatress. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, appreciate it. you. Do you do now? Yeah, you you know now. Now nah, you know. You own it. I, I know you are wifey material. Tell that to my ex husband. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> bad joke. Bad joke. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I got. Ain't got no more. Thank y'all for joining. I know it, I was gonna say I know it was short notice. It was no notice actually. It was no notice. I'm going to get better at that. But, um, hey, I'm a fly by my seat type. What? Fly by the seat of my pants type of girl. Pow, pow. So, you know, it just is what it is at this point. But, yeah, I, I'm happy that you asked that question, Teddy. A lot of people have asked, how do I go about this person? And, again, you want to have a contract. You want to know what regulatory agency governs them. You want And you want to hard in the paint with them. Don't mess with the entry level um customer service people if they're not giving you what you want take it to the next level and then know what levels you have applicable to you there are some people who have gotten responses believe it or not by attacking these companies on social media yes they have because social media is a force to be reckoned with nowadays guys you put a post up and the people are like me too me too ah, and you would be surprised what what uh is C-level executives jump in your DMs like, hey, I saw your post. And um, sometimes you might have to go uh, with the BBB, depending on what company it is. Sometimes you might have to put up seriously. So we have a lot of things at our disposal, but we got to start using them. But definitely don't keep calling the same company that's pissing you off, asking them the same thing. Those people are what? Making seven, 10, 11, 12, 13 dollars an hour working from home eating pizza with you on mute while you according to 15 USC then they're eating pizza looking at the phone like girl bye boy bye everybody bye so stop talking to them if they're not talking right right um Christopher Henry my John bro I know y'all don't know what we be saying. Love how much you're learning and growing. Have a great night from one part of Texas. <laughs> I love that. That's right. Stop repping. Stop repping your your state, son. Y'all come in my chat from now on. Y'all stop repping your state. Stop being like Eleventh District, Georgia. Start being like one party Texas. I like that. That should be the new rule. You don't know if you a one party, two party state. You don't know what circuit court you in. Get up out of here. Get up out the party. <laughs> that ain't for him. Thank you. We will. Oh, that's so shred. That's so shred. That's so funny you say that because you only know me about um, who should we talk to. Okay, so do me a favor. When you put a question like that because there's a delay. So I don't know what part you're 
who should who should you talk to for what? There is a substantial delay between the time that y'all type a question and I receive it on my end. So, like seriously, I could be on 50 million different subjects. Um, I have no clue what you're asking me. And you're not even going to hear what I'm saying to you right now because there's there's a delay on your end too. So I'm gonna hang around a little bit longer for you to clarify, and then I'll answer and then we'll log off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you some time to tell me who should you talk to about what? Because I have no clue what you're talking about at this point where I am. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, it, it is definitely a lot to learn you guys. And I'm telling you, it takes a lot of time and it's going to take more time if you're getting around the wrong people or other freepo people. Do your best. Okay. Do your best to find different ways of getting money to buy your seat at the right tables. And that will compress your timeline for learning so much. Like I said, um, I took arbitration mentorship in July of last year. It was supposed to be for four weeks. We ended up going for eight. And the Facebook group that they have us as a part of, my, my little brother Jay took it too. I was like, I should have known, I should have known. Okay, real recognized, real son. But we're still in that group on a daily basis. People in that are posting wins in that group. Just got a $4,500 settlement. And I'm just like, oh, oh, woo, yes. It's totally different than just jumping from free YouTube to free YouTube video. You watching from San Fran, go, go. Do you know San, I know you, I think you came a little bit late. Do you know if San Fran is one or two party? Do you know what circuit San Fran is? Just curious. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, Tessa, as far as beyond. Okay, so who should you talk to beyond customer service? Okay, so what you want to do is whatever company you're dealing with, you want to look up the corporate level executives. Sometimes you might want to look up, if you know that they have violated a law, sometimes you might want to look up who their legal team is. This is something that is Googleable. Seriously, and you know what's so crazy? Like in our arbitration mentorship, um, there were a few companies, they were sending letters to some of us students. They didn't know we're all in the arbitration mentorship together, but we were posting the letters. They were sending, y'all, it didn't matter what your claim was. They were sending out the exact same standard letter, just changing the person's name. So they don't even be regarded. And guess what? You can use that as proof. These things are proof, but you can look up, Teddy, who is the CEO, who is the CFO, who is, um, sometimes you might want to call and say, hey, I need to speak with someone in compliance, right? In your compliance department, because they're not complying with the law. You just try everything. And again, you record it. You make a notes of it. You, you write down everything because you're going to use it as evidence later. I bought something from a guy and he um he got remedy from a debt collector who was calling him and he told he told the guy he was like hey you know I'm reading bedtime stories to my son it's a bad time and the guy was like well you know when is a good time and he was like this is a bad time now see when you say it's a bad time they just supposed to be like okay they're not supposed to keep drilling you the next time the guy called, he was like, hey, I'm at work and my boss don't like me having calls. This is a bad time. And he was like, I totally feel you because, you know, when I'm at work and he he was like, I told you I'm at work. This is a bad time. And he was like, OK, so um, what about an hour? He was like, I got to get off the phone. This is a bad time. And he had every single call recorded. And he's he, and we man, when I was listening to this, I was like, OK, he's setting them up for the okie doke. And then you match up these calls. They call them like three, four times, man. That last time they got a little testy. Right. They got the, they got the britches in a bundle. The debt collector had his britches in a bundle. So his tone and, and, he, and he said the guy said that on the recording. And if you know, I can't watch If you know, you know, you know who I'm talking about. You know, you got the course, too. Right. Because he spoke on our arbitration mentorship. But that guy that last time, he was like, you know, you keep saying you're going to, uh, you keep saying it's a bad time. Just tell us when, when it's the right time. And, ooh, baby. Long story short, he took them to litigation. He won. He got his money. But he had those recordings. <laughs> ooh. Now, is that something you're going to find on YouTube? Absolutely not. Neither. 
he ain't putting those recordings on, on YouTube. He's not putting that, he's not dissecting that information with you on YouTube. YouTube is free and it's great. We're on it right now, but I'm telling y'all something right now. There are only certain conversations, there are only certain information that you're going to get in circles muy pequeños. Right? In the small circles. Y'all got to get at these mesas. <laughs> y'all got to get at these tables. Right? Thank you for doing this live stream. Thank you for being here, Gogo. -Go. All right, now I told you. I said, oh, hold on, hold on. Gogo, -Go. Go -Go is in the no-no. She said, yes, San Fran is in the ninth circuit. That's what's up, sis. I'm going to assume since you have a, pl a fly flower um, that you're a woman. If not, then my bad. Let me know. Um, but yes. Okay, all right. Let me. Let, y'all want to check? Go, go. I know she right. Now, now, let me ask you this. You know about one or two party? Do you know if they're a one or two party? See, this this real time, y'all. And once you know this stuff, right? Once you know, you know. Correcto? Claro que sí. Right? Bam. Y'all see that? She know her ish. Ninth Circuit. Did y'all ever think about this stuff? Like I said, I didn't. I'm not trying to be high and mighty. I'm in this thing with y'all. I didn't think about this till a few months ago. I didn't know about this until a few months ago. Nah. What about what about San Fran? One or two party? What's up, Gogo? -Go? Here go California. All party consent state. You tripping? Doesn't mean you can't. You know, record. You just have to let them know, right? Did you? Oh, 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 I didn't share it. Share this tab instead. My bad. My bad. I, I'm thinking y'all seeing what I'm seeing. But here you go, go, go. San Fran is in um California. And that is, ooh, this delay is really bad. Excuse me. Now you see it. Now you should see it. Um, California is an all-party consent state. Mm-hmm. Show you right. No, that ain't. put that link put that link right there okay and y'all I, I believe it's clickable I believe that link is clickable but again y'all saw me literally just type any old thing in Google it doesn't have to be that site specifically you can go look at another um site you thought it was a one party uh a one party state it, it's an all party consent um who is this? What's going on, Daryl Muhammad L? Darrell. No, it's Darrell Muhammad L. He says, every Tuesday I send you out an invitation to do a paid partnership for a major product. Please respond. Oh, you know what? I might be thinking you're spam. I might be thinking spam because I get a lot of things and sometimes the email ad. I, if I'm not looking for something, I'm not looking for it. So now that you say that, yeah, do me a favor. Let me know. Say say in the um subject line like this is Darrell or something like to let me know. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, you have plenty of garden information for me. Rooftop, okay, Teddy Pendergrass. I still need the tempo though. <laughs> I'm fine, fine. How you know? How you know know that? I have I have not posted a lot of pictures of myself lately. Um, we we read that. Greetings, beloved. What's going on, D King L? What's going on? Every time I see beloved, of course I think of Ayala. Um, what's going on? Peace. Have a great day. I like that. I like that. So, guys, I, this is my third time saying that, but this time I'm for real. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. So I got to go. <laughs> We've been on here an hour. I'm gonna call my son back now. Um, thank y'all for everything. Um, especially those who send uh th well, thank you for the comments, thank you for the participation. It definitely makes it more entertaining, engaging. Um, thank you for those who send cash apps and monetary support before and after the stream. I really appreciate that as well. Um, and yeah, y'all, let's let's really do it this year. Okay. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye.